on high tide. And I'm going to turn into a werewolf. It's the 90s. There's no werewolves. I got to tell you, I'm convinced. Ah, uh, lifeguards found the body this morning. There's a perfectly logical explanation. My guess is that rip throat couldn't have helped him too much. I need you to tie me up. <laughs> She's uh, wanted for murder. I assure you, we've no idea what she is. She's not a werewolf, you know. Out of nowhere comes this big, hairy, scary, frightening guy. Who's this guy, Romero? The amazing Romero. A master of illusions. I don't, I don't like, like that guy. <laughs> for a nice leisurely stroll and you're taking in the beach, the sun, the fun, the waves and all those lovely things. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes this big, hairy, scary, frightening guy. Kind of like Mick first thing in the morning. And he comes up behind you like this. Okay, now he wants to steal your beach ball or your cooler or something. What are you gonna do? Oh. Something like that? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Great. All right. Seems uh, Patty's got a good hang of the over-the-shoulder flip. That's good. You're learning what I'm teaching you. All right. Now, I want you to practice what I taught you yesterday, the high kick. Now, this is to be used when confronting a criminal or a rapist head-on. All right. Now, let me see one. One, two, three, go. women these days they scare me. OK, great. All right, now, how about a karate chop? One, two, three, go. Very good. Very, very good. All right, great. Well, that's it for today's lesson. I want you all back here tomorrow at 9 AM, and I'll show you some more killer moves. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Are you Joey Barrett? Who wants to know? And you have a brother named Mick Barrett? Who wants to know? I'm sorry. Um, my name's Crystal, but you might remember me as Fran Smith. I used to live over there on Oxnard. Oxnard Street? Mick and I used to live on Oxnard Street. Right, right. I, I lived a few houses down. Fran Smith? used to live just up the street? You mean little girl, friend? You were, uh... It's 
okay. You can say it. I was a dog. No, no. I had frizzy hair, glasses, braces, and all the kids used to hit me and call me Fatty Fran, remember? But you and Mick, you guys were always really nice to me. Wow. You look so, uh, well. Well, I lost weight, and I got my hair straightened, and I got my teeth fixed, and I got a nose job, and a few minor adjustments. Yeah. And then I moved to Las Vegas, and I became a showgirl. Wow. Well, wait till Mick gets a hold of you. I mean, I, not literally, but... It's OK. Mick's always been really special to me. So, you on vacation, and what? Actually, I'm in trouble, and I was hoping you guys could help me out. Wow, well, this is great. Mick and I, sometimes we moonlight as private eyes. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, I heard. Um, this is going to sound really strange. In fact, I doubt you're even going to believe me. No, uh, Mick and I have tackled some pretty strange stuff. Try me. Well, there's going to be a full moon tonight, and I'm going to turn into a werewolf. A werewolf. Yeah, I thought it was just a nightmare. But I kept having this dream, and I would wake up, and my clothes would be all torn up. Oh, I had a night like that once. And then they found this body, and his throat was ripped out. OK, wait a minute. A dead body? And then I got arrested. And if Romero hadn't bailed me out, I'd still be in jail. Who's this guy, Romero? Actually, it's the amazing Romero. He's this incredible magician, and I'm in his act in Vegas. I was working in a really small casino as a showgirl dancer, and then Romero discovered me, and he asked me to headline his act. Does this uh, amazing Romero think you're a werewolf, too? No. He insists it's just my imagination. I don't know. I, I had to come to somebody. What do you want us to do? I need you to tie me up. <coughs> really tight, so I can't get out. There's going to be a full moon tonight, and you know what happens. Look, Crystal, this werewolf Frankenstein stuff, I mean, it's not for real, is it? I don't know. But something killed that man. And, and if I'm going crazy, guys, at least I'll know. Either way, I got to find out what's happening. Fran, Crystal, we can't tie you up. You're not a werewolf. This is $1,000. All I want you to do is watch me and tell me what happens to me when there's a full moon. You know, Mick, this looks an awful lot like $1,000. And this guy here bears a very close resemblance to Franklin. And I happen to know that Franklin's on every $100 bill. You can't take your money. You're an old friend. It's only money. I got a huge trust fund. I got to find out what's happening to me. Just for tonight. That's all I ask. Please? fantasy of having a woman tied to the bed. I somehow pictured a little different. Maybe we should get her a leash. Any more coffee? Yeah. Got a whole pot.
Joey. Joey. Yeah. She's gone. We fell asleep. What? That's impossible, man. We drank a whole pot of coffee. Man, my head feels like somebody played basketball with it. Yeah, me too. You think she knocked us out? Oh, I can't believe she busted the ropes. I tied double knots. The lock's broken. Man, we get paid a thousand bucks to watch some girl sleep, and we blow it. Even Nancy Drew could have pulled this off. Something really strange is going on here. Keep it roped off. Hey, Joey, come here. Look at this. Right. Isn't that Sheila? Yeah, it looks right. like a corn, right. too. Come on. Oh, boy. Got something here. Sheila. Hey. Lifeguards found the body this morning. Any idea of the cause of death? We're sending him to the coroner's office downtown. Autopsy will take oh, a couple of days. But my guess is that rip throat couldn't have helped him too much. It's weird he didn't bleed very much. Say, you don't think that something like a, a claw or maybe wolf nails or something ripped his throat out, do you? A claw? <laughs> Just kidding, aren't you? Yeah, I I'm kidding. <laughs> Sheila, would you do me a real big favor, ma'am? Could you run a check on this woman? She lives in Vegas. <laughs> you know, Mick, you've got that look you'll usually have when you know more than you're letting me know you know. You know? Be a real big favor. Listen, you don't know anything about this murder, do you? No, no. Yeah, right. You know, Mick, his throat, it's... Ripped open. Yeah, I know. I see it. It's like it was a animal, or you could say it—a werewolf, right? Okay, werewolf. Yeah. stuff is for real. I read a book. In Romania, there are actual reports of real werewolf sightings. Joey, you've never been to Romania. And you've never read a book. What? Look, there's a perfectly logical explanation for all of this. Oh, I'm sure. Perfectly logical. There is. Yeah, there is. Our girl Fatty Fran here comes over to our place, sees the full moon, and turns into a stinking werewolf. Where's Annie? Oh, uh, she had an appointment. What kind of appointment? I don't know, a job interview or something. Some big clothing store opened up at the mall. Why would you let her go for a job interview? Well, she never gets them. Besides, I deduct it from her pay every time she takes off. <laughs> I let her go just during the slow periods, you know? So far, I've saved over 15 bucks. Can you believe it? <laughs> hey, guys. Sheila, find you more dead bodies? No, but I've got some information I think you'll both find very interesting. She jumped Bell in Vegas. She's uh, wanted for murder. Oh, murder. Fine. 
<laughs> yep, that's right. Oh, and another little tidbit of info I managed to gather. It seems this Fran Smith used to live on a street called Oxnard. Really? really? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, fellas, but didn't you guys live on that same street when you were kids? It's been so long. Yeah, Mick, gee, how long has it Look, been? I know so. One more thing. The murder she was arrested for involved a dead man whose throat was ripped out. Does any of this sound familiar? Now, that does sound familiar. Mick, I know you, and I know you know something about this woman. You know that I know. Can you explain this to me? Honestly? No. Mick, she's a felon. I don't have to explain the penalties of harboring a fugitive, do I? Look, I assure you, we've no idea what she is. You mean where? What? Where she is. Guys. Right, where? Guys. What? Bottom line. If you happen to find out where or what she is, can you notify me immediately, okay? Maybe. Look, Mick, she's considered extremely dangerous. Be careful, okay? Great. I know, I know, I know. Someone's going to an awful lot of trouble to make us think there's a werewolf around here. What do you mean, make us think she's a werewolf? Two maulings, a chick that howls at the moon and silver bullets? Listen, I'm telling you, I'm convinced. Joey, they shot this at us. So? Maybe they thought she got to us, you know, infected us with the werewolf gene. Hey, maybe it was the Lone Ranger. Ranger guy a werewolf? The cowboy. The Lone Ranger, you know, Tonto, Kimasabi. You are losing it, bro. By day, right? Joey, Joey, that's vampires. Fred. Mm. Crystal. Mm. Fred. Mm. Fred. Fred, wake up. Oh, Mick, I'm so scared. It happened again last night, didn't it? I saw the police everywhere, and I didn't want to come out. I killed that man last night. We don't know what happened last night. I was at the beach, and, and there was a man, and there was a fight. Okay, look, Fred. I think you better put some clothes on. Look, you did not turn into a werewolf last night. I know things are really weird right now, but I'll say it again, there's no such thing as a werewolf. Explain that to the guy with his throat ripped open on the beach. It's the 90s, there's no werewolves. I wholeheartedly agree with you. I hope you don't mind me coming in without knocking, but the door was open downstairs. That's funny, I thought I locked it. No, I'm so glad to see you. I came as soon as I got your message, my sweet. Um, this is the amazing Romero. He's the magician I was telling you about. Not just a magician, a master of illusions. And uh, these are my friends, Mick and Joey. Crystal, tell me how you guys have been helpful during your time of uh, crisis, so to speak. She's been under a lot of stress. And you left your medication back at the hotel. So, uh, you know about... Uh... Crystal turning into a werewolf? <laughs> Yeah, I'm afraid I heard those stories. You see, unfortunately, there was a body found at the scene, and Crystal was the only one there. Crystal is a wonderful lady. She's no killer, nor is she a werewolf. That's a relief. I called Romero to take me back to Vegas. When I realize I'm a killer, I know I have to go and turn myself in. I told her we'll get her all the best professional help and the best lawyers in town. Honey, you're no murderer. Yeah, well, then why am I going crazy? What you need is some rest. And unfortunately, they haven't given you any of that here. Come on, let's go back to the hotel. Excuse me, Mr. Amazing uh, Guy, whatever. 
I don't know how you got in here. Gentlemen, I'd like to take this time to sincerely thank you for taking care of her. Fran. Crystal. I don't know if it's such a good idea that you should just give in like this. I mean, you're talking about a murder rap and a dead body back in Vegas. I don't know what else to do. I came to you guys to prove to me one way or another. And you saw what happened last night. I just don't want to hurt anybody else. Show's over, gentlemen. Come on. Nice shirt. I don't, I don't like, like that, that guy. guy. You know, I think you guys have finally gone off the deep end here. I'm not saying we believe any of it. Just speak for yourself. I was right about the body, wasn't I? As much as I hate to admit it. It seems this Fran Smith is no longer wanted as a fugitive. You know the dead body they supposedly found in Vegas with the throat ripped out? It was already dead. It's a cadaver, right? Yeah. They stole it from a local medical school. So they dropped the charges against this Fran Smith. Great. What about the dead body you found here? Well, they're still working on an autopsy. It's going to take a few days. But the charges against Fran are dropped. Mick, there is no evidence linking this girl to a murder. Great, so she's not a murderer. No. That means she's not a werewolf. No. I'm still not going on any midnight strolls with her, if you know what I mean. You know, it's not a coincidence that another buddy showed up. Mick, do you happen to know where this Fran Smith is? Maybe. Oh, great. Maybe. You know, I'm getting so much information here. Come on, we gotta get to the hotel. The hotel, right. What hotel? Yeah, what hotel? The hotel where Crystal's staying. Crystal? Who's Crystal? What hotel? Guys! Guys! Why do I get the feeling nobody wants me to know anything? You know, Mick, even when we were growing up, I always thought Crystal was a little, uh, flaky. Well, she was just shy, you know, unsure of herself. Flaky? I do remember she was terrified to walk past that old Crawford house by herself. Oh, man, we were all scared of that place. Really? Everyone except for you and me, of course. Of course. I wonder what she sees in a guy like Romero, anyway. Excitement, danger, bad shirts. Man, I think she got a little more than she bargained for, huh? And she may have had, you know, a little renovation on the outside, but inside she's still the same scared little girl next door. We're down the block anyway. That Romero, man, I think he takes his art a little bit too seriously. What is with that cheese ball entrance? I tell you, it's gonna take more than a couple of little cheesy tricks to pull one over on the Barrett brothers. Right. Right. You know, not only do I not like this guy, Romero, but I don't trust him. I like this side of you, bro. Real suspicious. Kind of like we're private eyes investigate hey we're not private eyes which reminds me i want to print up some of those windshield flyer things yes detective barrett it's a police matter i need the room number for romero atkins <laughs> All right. thank you very much so we locked up this case huh i got a real gut feeling about this i'm gonna solve this case joey it's not a case we're just helping somebody out that you know paid us a lot of money sound like private eyes to me come on Excuse me. We should have taken the stairs. So, stay at this hotel often? Get out. To the left. Stand over there. 
you wanted to get us in your room, you really didn't have to use a gun. So maybe one of our wallets or something? I mean, can we help you out here? Are you working for Crystal? Which answer is least likely to get a shot? She's not a werewolf, you know. We know. You might as well have this. <laughs> Gun's not even loaded. I'm sorry. I wasn't gonna hurt you guys. I just, I just needed to know whose side you're on. I only had the gun to try and scare you. Worked. Crystal's my best friend. I'm trying to help her. So are we. You wanna tell us what's going on? Crystal and I used to work together. We were dancers. Then she met Romero. You know, Romero's here with her. It's like he's got her under some sort of spell or something. Ever since she inherited the trust fund, it's like she started hallucinating, and she's convinced she's a werewolf. Why don't you get that? Uh, I'll take my wallet. Thanks. Hi, honey. I'm so glad to see you. They told me at the desk you were here. What are you guys doing here? We were kidnapped. I got some good news for you. I feel so relieved. I didn't really want to go back to jail. Why don't we all go to dinner tonight and celebrate them dropping the charges? And can you guys please give Romero a chance? I mean, he's a really nice guy. Sure, sure. OK, whatever makes you happy. But you have to promise me you'll go see a doctor. Oh, that's right. Can you get me one? See you tonight. Oh, bye. What are these? Um, they're mild sedative. So, dinner's at eight. I'll meet y'all downstairs, and it's my treat. Okay. Bye. See you tonight. Well, Crystal seems to be coming around. If we can just get her away from her now. Marcia, how is our little Crystal doing today? You shouldn't be in here. Look, I just want to know how Crystal is. <laughs> She's pretty shaken. Is that so? Not out here. They'll see us. Oh, Romero. Oh, baby. You are looking so good. You're doing such a good job for me, too. So did you take care of those two hardy boys for me? Hmm? Did you? Miro, do we have to do this? She's my best friend. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. This is working like magic. And she's already signed over power of attorney. And all we have to do is kill her. <laughs> Should go. We got dinner plans, remember? Okay. How do I look? It's like you're going to a formal volleyball game. Come on. I got a feeling tonight's going to be a little more than social. Well, now you're getting too suspicious. No, it's just a hunch. Having a buddy of mine in forensics run a routine check on those pills Romero gave Crystal. She's obviously having hallucinations. I wonder if our master of illusion is behind them. Hey. Shoes. Oh, come on. I...
Thank you. You're going to make it, Crystal. And I'm going to be right there with you. I'm already starting to feel better. Mm. Mm. Mm, I love you. I'm going to go downstairs and get us a table. I'll wait down there for you. Great. I'm starved. Left her in the room. You know what you have to do. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. Marsha, calm down, okay? Think about it, baby. Think about it. Think about it. She'll be gone, and we'll have it all. Everything you have always wanted. Everything. Trust me, baby. Trust me, baby. All right. I'm doing this for us. That's my girl. Come on, let's get out of here. This place isn't bad. I'm really starting to like it. Except for the running security guards. Must be a bathroom break. Oh, jeez. What's going on? Oh, it can't be. Crystal could not have done this. I was with her. I thought you said you went downstairs to get a table. Yeah, but I was only gone for five minutes. Why would Crystal murder her best friend? This doesn't make any sense. Over here. Not a nice shirt. Hey, Mick. We've searched the area. She's nowhere to be found. We've got units patrolling the city. If she's out there, we'll find her. It's Marsha's gun. We just found this. It looks like two shots have been fired. Oh, and check this out. Hey, man, silver bullets again? Silver bullets are for killing werewolves. Marsha was a friend. Why was she carrying silver bullets in her gun? up this early for a simple lab report? Well, after last night, I mean, there's nothing simple about any of this. Yeah, well, the least you could do is buy me breakfast. Yeah. The report came back, and it's not a sedative. Hallucinogenic. He's using mind control. Oh, and Romero's probably feeding those to her like candy. Who's Romero? Oh, I'm sorry. The amazing Romero. What's so amazing? I where did you get these pills? You know, Mick, you really have to let the police handle this. Sure, go oh, ahead. Okay, sure, fine. Go ahead. Now where are you going? Mick! Mick! Great. You know, Mick, I'm sure I locked that door the other night. That amazing what's-his-name, I don't know. What are you getting at? Well, people don't just drink a whole pot of coffee and then fall asleep. You know what I think? I think old Ramiro snuck into our place, a little puff of smoke, a little spike in the coffee, you know what I mean? It's not bad for a beginner. 
He also cut the ropes, stole the cadavers, and tried to make him look like some werewolf at 86. Exactly. Cover me. He's also a hypnotist. Maybe he hypnotized Crystal into thinking she was a werewolf. Not that, I believe. That's amazing. But did he kill Marsha? Oh, no. Oh, Fran gave him power of attorney. That's it. He wanted to make Crystal think she was going crazy. She'd flip out, and then he'd have his hands on her trust fund. Well, looks like Marsha gave him power of attorney, too. Maybe he didn't kill her after all. Or maybe he did, because she was starting to talk to us and he was afraid that she was going to talk to the cops. Yeah. Fran. Okay, don't go anywhere. She's at our place and she's hurt. Shock of Marsha trying to kill me, it just, it snapped me out of it. And then all I could do was run. Why would she try to kill me? Well, uh, it was Romero. So he tried to set Marsha up to take the fall for killing, you know, the werewolf. That's why he put the silver bullets in the gun. Right. And Marsha would get blamed because she's a loony and he'd get rid of both of you. Romero and Marsha, how could I be so stupid? Hey, it's not your fault. He's been feeding you pills and hypnosis. I mean, the guy's a nut bar. You mean to tell me the body on the beach, that was Romero? Well, that's what we think. I guess he wanted to be thorough. Yeah, but I guess I wasn't thorough enough, was I? See, a magician doesn't like his tricks revealed. Crystal, come. Come here. Come on. It would have been a lot easier for you, baby, if you just let Marsha kill you with that silver bullet. Come on, what are you doing? Let her go. This is stupid. I don't think so. I got the gun, remember? And I got one silver bullet left. You can only shoot one of us.
I can't believe I actually thought Romero loved me when all he really loved was my trust fund. Oh, he was smooth. Could have fooled anybody. Well, he sure fooled Marsha. She fell for his line. I don't know how to thank you guys enough for all that you've done. Now at least I can get my life in order. You know, we never really believed you were a werewolf. I mean, there's no such thing as werewolves. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Right. They really had you going for a while, though, didn't they? Right. So, what are you going to do? Go back to Vegas, be a showgirl? No. I think it's time for a change of scenery. I got enough money to go wherever I want, so maybe I'll just see the world. Sounds like a plan, Fran. Crystal. No, Fran. Just plain old Fran. Well, Fran, maybe, but never plain. Hmm. Maybe I'll move to someplace beachy, you know, sun, sand, surf. Just stay away from guys with funky disco shirts. Ah. <laughs> uh... Next, on High Tide. I don't want to scare Patty, but if this island really is deserted, we could be in big trouble. We be modern pirates of the seven seas. Thank God, at least this island isn't totally deserted. I have waited too long for this to let a bunch of civilians get in my way. Wait a minute, we don't want any trouble here. Hey, you already got it. They're after something they obviously don't want anyone to know about. The treasure is real, soldier. Like the edge of this blade. This is definitely the last time we ever go on a vacation with you, Bobo. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>